You ready to go to bed? I love you. She's just such a talker. See, I have to go to work. Are you going to be a good girl today? You are. She's got a really growly voice. So a lot of people misinterpret her voice as she's upset, but it's just her meow. Oh, I love you too. Growling is her love language, to put it simply. It's not safe. You have to sit on your side. Can you sit on your side, please? Okay, good girl. Everybody in my family knew it's just how she says I love you in her own weird way. You like it? Yeah, I do too. My grandparents had her for 15 years. They loved her more than anything in the world. Before my grandfather passed away, he was absolutely terrified of what would happen to Mackenzie. There was just no one that was able to take a grumpy, growly 14-year-old cat. By the grace of God, I was moving home for a job at the time, and I decided to live with my parents for just a couple months. Is that yummy? We were able to adopt her and get her settled. Are you having fun on the beach? She's happy there and she's thriving. That's all that matters to me. I was posting a lot of videos of Mackenzie on TikTok, and a lot of people were commenting how they were in our shoes. When their grandparents passed away, the animals went into a shelter. And while there's a lot of amazing shelters and organizations out there, there really wasn't a service to plan a home for your animal. I really quickly realized that this was something I could add to the world. Good morning, everybody. My name is Angela. I'm the founder of My Grandfather's Cat. We launched My Grandfather's Cat on My Grandfather's Birthday. My Grandfather's Cat helps seniors and terminally ill people find second forever homes for their pets before they move into retirement homes or pass away. In the past year, we have helped 45 animals in total. I was truly in awe that this worked. Hi friends, this chunk of love is Mr. Four. A senior called me up and said that he was moving into a retirement home and he had no idea what to do with his 14-year-old barn cat. So I drove out and I picked him up and he was this sweet giant orange cat. I just kind of crumbled into my arms and I drove him to this home to drop him off and they changed their mind and here I was again on the side of the road with this giant lovable orange cat. So I brought him to my apartment for the night and I decided I was going to foster him for a couple nights and let him settle. So he stayed with me last night. And I gotta say, this is a unique experience. Good morning, Mr. Boar. We had an instant bond and I called the senior and I just said, what would you think if I kept Bo? And he said, I would love for you to keep him. He seemed to love you instantly. That's how I got my sweet Mr. Bo. Every time I had a rough day, there he was cuddled between my arms. He gave me that level of love that I was trying to give to these seniors and it ended up being really beautiful and really helpful for me. The love a senior cat can give you is unmatched. And while all cats at any age deserve to be adopted and have loving homes, senior cats get overlooked and there's no reason to. I'm very grateful. We've created a service to help seniors 